All right, welcome back to another explosive episode of Exit the Norm. I'm Jeff. I'm not Jeff. And I'm not Jeff Jr. So we were checking out an article actually about the top tourist traps in each state. And we came across one, it says it's the Redstone Rocket Replica in Concord. So we're gonna check that out. But there's also another rocket here in New Hampshire that we're gonna show you. Is it this? Uh, <laughs> is that it? No, it's not that one. <laughs> so before we show you the real I rocket, make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe. All right, let's go check out both. What is it? <laughs> So the article that we read said that the biggest tourist trap here in New Hampshire was this redstone rocket replica that's behind me. Now it stands right outside the McAuliffe Shepherd Discovery Center here in Concord. And it's here because of New Hampshire's ties to space, Krista McAuliffe, Alan Shepard. Uh, there's a couple of plaques that are around it. So we'll show you that stuff real quick. And then after that, we're gonna show you a real redstone rocket that's here in New Hampshire. Let's check it out. The McAuliffe Shepherd Discovery Center is located in Concord, New Hampshire, right next to the NHTI campus. It was opened in 1990 as a planetarium honoring Krista McAuliffe, the astronaut from New Hampshire, who would have been the first teacher in space, but sadly she never made it there. She perished along with the other six members of the Space Shuttle Challenger on January 28th, 1986. The location increased its offerings in 2009 when an Air and Space Museum was added. It was renamed the McAuliffe Shepard Discovery Center to honor another famous astronaut from New Hampshire, Alan Shepard, the first American in space. Today it offers a number of exhibits, educational programs, and much more. Their mission is to inspire every generation to reach for the stars through engaging artful and entertaining activities that explore astronomy, aviation, earth, and space science. Now, they were closed when we stopped by, but we plan on taking a peek inside in the near future. Now, although this rocket's a replica, it's still a great addition to this center. It gives visitors a chance to see the size of a redstone rocket up close and in person. Pictures and videos just don't do it justice. All right, they got these cool little prank things, so we thought we'd try it out. Ready? So behind us is a real redstone rocket right here in the middle of town in Warren, New Hampshire. So it was actually brought here in April of 1971 by a local resident due to Alan Shepard being from New Hampshire. Alan Shepard was the first one that flew to outer space. Wow, wow. <laughs> it all started with local resident Ted Aslan back in 1971. At the time, Ted was working at the Redstone Arsenal in Huntsville, Alabama. When the government moved on to newer technology, the redstone was obsolete and just basically became military surplus. Ted wanted to do something with one of the missiles instead of just having it sit in a field somewhere to rot. So he got permission from the army to take one. The army would strip it of all of its components, but Ted would be responsible for transporting it. The redstone's an important part of US history. It was the army's first medium range ballistic missile it then went on to play a key role in the early years of the space race. The Mercury Redstone rocket was used to launch the Mercury capsules into space. On May 5, 1961, a Redstone rocket launched America's first astronaut into space, New Hampshire's own Alan Shepard. Aslan came up with the idea to bring the missile back to his hometown of Warren and put it on display so it could serve as a source of inspiration for the citizens of town. So he did just that. He rented a truck and drove the Redstone from Alabama to New Hampshire. 
he got a fine along the way in Ohio for not having a permit, and even broke down here in Concord. But it eventually made it to its new home, right in the middle of a small town. It was dedicated on July 4th, 1971, during the town's Old Home Day celebration. A real redstone, or a replica redstone, it doesn't matter to us. They both serve their respective purposes here in the Granite State, and that is to educate. So we definitely support both of them, and they're both worth checking out. Thanks for blasting off with us here on another episode of Exit the Norm. Make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know down in the comments what the biggest tourist trap is around you. Can I fly a rocket today? No. <laughs>